guys, Laura with Garden Answer. So I'm getting ready to plant up another pot for fall. You may have watched my last video where I planted up a couple of urns um, with some really pretty fall plants. This one is actually going on my back patio and it's gonna be in the shade. So I'm going to adjust the type of plants I'm using a little bit and I thought you might like to see it. If you did catch the last video, you'll remember that I gave you a formula to go by when planting up your pots and that's to have a thriller, filler, and spiller plants. We're gonna adjust it just a little bit with this pot because it is short. So I won't be using as many plants that'll spill over the side because this is pretty and I kinda want this to show up. So I already cleaned out the pot that had all the summer plants in it and then I filled it with some fresh soil. So I'm just gonna get started planting. The first plant I'm gonna put in is actually a perennial. It's called a ruum or false rhubarb. And they actually get quite large in the landscape. I have one planted out in one of my beds. And they'll get anywhere from three to five feet tall and three feet wide, really pretty bold foliage. And that I'm going to put toward, this is the back side of the planter. So I'm just gonna plant that in there. And next, I'm going to use a chrysanthemum. Now, I know this is a shade planter and this is a sun-loving plant, but what's gonna happen is it'll only be in the shade for a few months before it goes dormant. So next spring, I'll just pop this out of the planter and plant it in the sun somewhere that it'll like to grow. So I really like this color, this bronze color, really looks fallish. And I'm gonna nest that one right in front of the room, kinda like that. And we'll be able to adjust you know, turn the plants if we need to toward the end. Then, I actually am going to break this uh, cabbage apart. I really love these, I think they're really cute. Uh, but they're all in individual stems in there, so I think if I get in there, I can cut them apart and use them individually in the pot. We'll see how that goes. It's not super root bound yet, so see if I can get that done. Set it down here and it worked. So this one I'm going to nest right up here. So not look cute. And right next to that, I'm gonna use a Hakana Kaloa. These are one of my favorite shade grasses. They come in a variegated color and then I like this all green. It just shines really bright pop. And this one is a perennial as well, so we can pop this out in the spring and use it in the landscape if we want. If you do water these pots every two weeks throughout the winter time when they're dormant, uh, they will survive most of the time. And you can leave them in these pots and just have them grow up and look like this next year too. So we've got that. And I'm going to pop another one of these in, uh, one of these cabbages in on toward the back here. Here we go. Nice little bold texture back here. And then the last plant I'm gonna put in is this beautiful coleus. I love, love these plants. In fact, this one, if you can get into the pot later on in the season, when it starts to go dormant, you can actually pop this out and take it inside. It's a really easy house plant. I'm gonna take that out and just put that right back toward the back of the pot here. Make some room there. So it is coming together. Like I did in the last pots, I'm going to cheat a little bit with some fillers. And I got these really pretty fall looking berry picks from Joann's. So I'm gonna use those and I'm also gonna use some Scarlet Curls Willow Branches. I cut these out of my backyard, I have a big tree my backyard and I use these a lot for arranging. So we're just gonna pop these in all the way around and make it look really interesting and pretty. A really pretty way to use your branches is to stick a bunch of flexible ones toward the back of your pot in the soil and then just grab them and wrap them around like that. I've seen my mom do this countless times in her arrangements at home and they always look so pretty. So I think just a few more branches and we'll be done. So we're all done and I just love it. Don't you think it's pretty? I just think it's so much fun to plant up fall planters. I'm always ready for it this time of year, fresh new look. Uh, so as always, I will leave a list of the plants that we use in this project in the description below. And also I will leave some winter care tips if you plan to leave these in the pot. So that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.